Okay, I'm going to go through um, the procedure on how to carry out this lab with the SIM and how to uh, enter the information in the spreadsheet, uh, the graph, the calculations, etc. So when you open up this SIM, it's going to look something like this. Uh, there's a little boat down here, the bottom left corner, and you can adjust the boat speed up down. Um, and then the river is flowing uh, to the right. We do not know the rate of the river. We also don't know how far uh, the other uh, side is um, from the boat. But when you uh, click the boat, try not to hit logs, all right? Um, when you click the boat, it'll travel um, across the river to the other side. Now, the faster the boat goes, right, the sooner it will get to the other side. So the boat has a vector. In this case, the vector is pointing north, and the river has a vector um, pointing east. So the resulting um, vector for the boat is the combination of those two. All right. Now, with this lab, when you open it up, the first thing you should do is lower the speed to the lowest setting. Um, and then that's how we're going to proceed. OK, so lower to the lower setting, click on the boat, wait for it to get to the other side. Okay, so this looks like it landed uh, somewhere around 69.9, right? 60, 65, 69, it's really close to the 70s, so 69.9. Make sure that at the lowest speed, make sure it does make the other side. Sometimes when you, when you open up this sim, the boat actually goes off screen. If that's the case, just hit reset and then uh, increase the speed a little bit. All right, so the first set of data... The speed is 1.51 meters per second, and this is <clears throat> meters, 69.9. So you go to the spreadsheet, enter in that uh, speed, 1.51 and 69.9. Okay. Go back to the sim, hit reset, and increase the speed. Okay. And then just repeat. All right, so this one looks like it landed at 44.8. So I go into the spreadsheet, 2.36, 44.8. All right, I'm just going to repeat that for the rest of the values. Um, reset. I'm just going to you know increase and just keep doing this until I get my 10 trials. A few moments later. Okay, I have my 10 trials filled in to the spreadsheet. So now um, I want to insert a graph. If you go back to the sim, when you hit finish, it tells you you want to do a graph of uh, the drift, the distance versus the boat speed. Okay? So the boat speed is going to be the x axis and the drift is going to be the y axis, right? y versus x when you do these kinds of graphs. Um, once you do that, you're going to need to apply a best fit line and get a graph constant. And then using the graph constant, um, the equation of the, of the line, you can figure out what the drift would be if the boat speed were 0.6. So it wants you to calculate a drift for a speed you can't set in the sim. All right, and then you can you know enter your answers here, submit, and see if you got it right. All right, so we can we can <coughs> do the rest of the calculations. We have to go back to the the spreadsheet. So let me show you the graph that you're going to put in here. So insert graph. Let's just move it out of the way a little bit. The type of graph or setup is going to be a scatter. 
click on uh, add X axis. So when you click this, click this little select data range, this little grid right here, right? And remember the speed of the boat is the X axis. Hit OK. Add series. This is the Y info. Select the drift data for the Y axis. Right, there we go. Okay, this is an inverse relationship. As one increases, the other one decreases. So go to customize, series, scroll down to trend line, add trend line. And in this case, it's a power series. Okay, so there we go. Label, you want to select use equation. Okay, so here's the equation uh, of this graph. Okay, now let me just make this bigger so you can see uh, what we're dealing with here. All right, so if I were to write this out for my equation, I would write y equals 105 divided by x, right? The x is being raised to a negative 0.997 which is essentially being raised to a negative one. So it's just, you know, 105 over X, right? So I could write Y equals 105 divided by X, okay? That's my equation uh, for the line right there. Let me just make that big so you can see it, all right? So over here, the, uh, the graph constant that we're working with, right, is 105. Okay. Now, the new speed that they're asking me to make a prediction with from the sim is 0.6. Okay. So let's put that in there, 0.6. All right. So we need to figure out what would be the new drift. All right. So X represents the speed. So if, uh, Y represents the drift. So basically, all I'm doing is taking 105 divided by the new speed. Okay. So we do this value, the graph constant, divided by the new speed, okay? And if the boat were traveling at 0.6 meters per second, that's where it would end up, All right? So we go back to the sim, put my name in, All right? Graph constant was 105. Let's make sure we get this all right. And the new drift is 175. All right, 175. Let's see how we did. Okay, congratulations. Calculations are correct. All right, there was a 0.2% error here in the graph constant and a 0.2% error in the drift. All right, so that's basically uh, what you need to do for the lab. And when you get this uh, screen with the uh, you know correct answers, take a screenshot and submit that, and then that's how you will be graded.